Hi, uh, my name is Pavel, and this is my homework for C Sharp uh, from Chapter 4, Exercise 13 uh, from uh, C Sharp 2012, How to Program. And uh, today I'll be creating an employee class uh, which will include three pieces of information uh, either as uh, instance variables or automatic properties. And these three pieces of information will be first name, which will be, which will be a string, last name, it's going to be a string, and a monthly salary, which would be a, a decimal. Now the class has to have, of course, a constructor. We will initialize all three values and provide accessors, you know, the standard stuff. Now if the uh, salary is negative, uh, we will not change the uh, instance variable. In other words, we will keep it at zero because that's uh, how it's going to be initialized uh, in the constructor. And uh, we will also uh, demonstrate the capabilities of this class uh, by displaying uh, employees' information, including the salary. And uh, we will also uh, give each employee a 10% raise at the end and display. Uh, the information again, this time with the new uh, salary information. Alright, so let's get started. And first thing first, we need the class. So we will add, of course, new item. Uh, we will just add a class. And it will be called uh, employee. Well, how do you spell that? E. There. Beautiful empty class. So we need the uh, first name, last name, and uh, the salary. Now the first name and last name they can be automated property because there will be no checking whether the values are correct or not. It's gonna be just a string with name. So we will go public string uh, first name get and set. And we'll do the same for the last name. Last name and we will be get and set. Now the salary it will that's going to be uh, private because it's going to be an instance variable. Private decimal for the salary, and we'll call it salary. Uh, that's all. Now let's do the constructor. And we will start, of course, public employee. And we will pass. First name, last name, and salary uh, from the user. So it will be string first name, string last name, and a symbol salary. Now I will change this with the underscore. I, I like uh, to distinguish between my private uh, variables and uh, variables that are passed. Uh, to, the, to my functions or, or to my constructor by uh, from the user. We could also use uh, the keyword with this, this dot salary, but this way I I can visually see which one is uh, which right away without you know trying to figure out too hard. So our first name we will have to assign whatever user supplies. So it will be first name. From the constructor, our last name property will hold whatever the user supplies, which would be the last name, and the salary that the user supply the supplies will be held uh, in a, another property called salary, which I have to create first. Uh, it won't let me capitalize it. All right, let me create it first. So it would be public 
uh, decimal salary and so let's do that uh, it's gonna be salary equals salary wow all right so now we get the uh, we have to do the get and set for our property so get nothing there except just return our salary and in our set uh, we will check if the value is uh, what it's supposed to be it cannot be negative all right so we will go uh, if value equals uh, uh, equal it, it could be zero I guess it's just gonna be negative so equal or it's greater than zero our salary will equal the value otherwise we won't change it it's gonna be zero because by default over here it will be initialized to zero we're not supposed to do anything else with it uh, yeah we're supposed to just make sure it's not negative and then leave the instance variable unchanged so we don't have to set it to anything else all right I think this is actually the whole class quite simple and uh, let's create the objects so we'll get them um, I'm thinking, should we ask the user for the names? Nah, let's just create employees. Employee, employee one uh, equals new employee. And we'll pass the values. As you can see in the, uh, in the help, it's supposed to get a first name, string, last name, string, and decimal salary. So. Uh, first name will be I don't know, Walter. Last name will be White. And the salary I don't know eighty million. Eighty million. Eighty one two three one two three and fifty cents. How about that? Uh, We have to cast it to decimal to make sure that the uh, 50 cents is uh, not rounded. Do the other one employee, employee, employee 2 equals new employee, and it will be Jesse and Pinkman. And his uh, salary, well, he threw a lot of money away, so let's just give him five million dollars. Two, three, one, two, three, and twenty-five cents. All right, so now we have this. Um, I didn't create the uh, toString method for for my class. Um, we will simply output the. Uh, I'll put it line by line. So console that right line. Uh, employee one first name, and it will be a string. And it will be employee one dot first name. I will do the same with the last name. I'll just copy paste it. And then it's gonna be last name employee one last name. And now uh, the salary. So uh, 
and also the right line employee one salary now this will be a currency so we will format it as currency and uh, it will be employee one dot uh, salary okay uh, let's do employee two which will be exactly the same way oops I got it uh, somehow messed up make mm, let's copy and paste it's gonna be employee uh, employee two and employee two yeah. and we'll read it to so console that read line all right well let's see if it works loading loading and we have first name of employee one walter white and we got 80 million dollars and 50 cents and uh, the first name of the employee two is jesse last name pinkman five million and 25 cents all right so the basic works now we have to do the uh, uh, the raise right what will get 10 percent raise all right so Gonna solve that right line uh, just to make some space there and then console that right line after 10 percent raise and uh, Uh, it's gonna be fairly simple. We will simply do the calculations right here. All right, after 10% raise, uh, let's first calculate the raise. Uh, we will employee, oh, not employee, employee one dot salary equals the salary, employee one dot salary times uh, 10%, 1.1. Oh, this has to be cost to decimal because employee one salary holds the decimal. And the same employee two salary equals employee two salary times decimal 1.1. And now we'll just output the salary after the raise. Uh, uh, so that's uh, console that right line. Employee one new salary, and we'll format it again to currency, and it will simply hold this salary. The employee one salary already holds the new value of the calculation that we performed on this line on line 27. And similarly, we'll do employee two. All right, let's see if that works. And we have a. Uh, the old information Walter White 80 million and 50 cents, Jesse Pinkman 5 million and 25 cents after 10 percent, so that would be 8 million extra and 5 cents, of course. So it's 88 million and 55 cents, and uh, 5.5 million uh, and 28 cents for Jesse. Could have so much more money than that. I can't believe what he did. Anyway, uh, everything seems to be working, and uh, yeah, this is uh, this is the solution. 
I mean, this is my solution. I mean, I'm sure you can come up with a better one. You can do more checks. You know, uh, maybe you can perform the the calculations without changing the original number. But uh, like I said, this is my solution. And uh, if you got stuck, hopefully this helped you. And uh, if you had a better solution, at least you had a chance to see some crappy one. Alright, happy coding, see you next video.